What's up guys and welcome back to another video. Well, today I decided to like uh, make a video about how you can actually uh, score the minimum in the knighthood boss in order to like to claim all the rewards. If you guys like are new to the game and you don't know, uh, if you're a part of knighthood, you can actually go into the, um, the battle uh, boss or whatever it's called, like the knighthood boss battle, and uh, you can claim some rewards. I believe the rewards are uh, two, two like super awakening coins, some SR pendants, and uh, some SSR pendants as well, and some chests in order to to get gold. Now it's like the the thing that I saw online is that most people show you how to score the maximum amount, and they don't show you the free to play edition of this boss uh, for me now it's like um, I'm going to be showing you the most friendly uh, way to actually score uh, the minimum in this boss well this team is the kind of the uh, the best uh, for it I'm gonna be changing uh, Gother actually with uh, Jillian because the trick with this boss is that uh, the more HP that you're going to be having at the end of the battle, uh, the uh, the more uh, score that you're going to be having. Uh, so yeah, so this is the best because Jillian, like each each member of this squad or this uh, units, uh, have like some, some task. Like Jillian is gonna be increasing our green units like HP by thirty percent. Uh, Merlin's task is uh, to remove the uh, the ultimate couches so we don't get ulted if we don't need to, and. Um, Liz is going to be healing us and removing debuff if we need to. And of course, Green Escanor is going to be doing the whole damage all the time. Uh, basically, he's going to be in the, uh, our nuker and uh, he's going to be defeating the boss. Uh, don't don't be intimidated by my CC right now uh, because like most of my characters already have UR. And uh, if I had like more HP gears and stuff, I would have like changed them because this is actually the most uh, free to play friendly strategy that you can actually beat uh, in order to like to score that 4,000 and have the the rewards especially especially that if your gear like uh, knighthood is not like the highest knighthood like in the game or whatever you're not competing for guild war and you're not competing for score and you just want to have those rewards this is a great strategy so yeah let's just start it's very easy strategy so uh, yeah I'm going to be demonstrating how you should be doing it and uh, I hope this strategy is going to be helpful for, for a lot of people of you because I assume a lot of people already have Ascanor um, or uh, like a lot of people already have uh like green Liz uh, also it's like if you guys like comment down below if you don't if you're missing some of the characters or something I can come up with another strategy that can help you guys um, finish this boss like way faster uh, so basically what you want to do in this especially in normal uh, you want to be rushing Askenor's ultimate uh, in order like to finish as fast as you can, sort of. So this is what we're going to be doing. We're going to be having the ultimate next turn, and I'm going to be attacking with Liz to remove his buffs if he has buffs for the next turn in order to like to the to get the maximum account, like uh, the maximum points. So yeah, so this is how how you do it. You just like. I'm going to remove the ultimate, I'm going to remove one ultimate gouge, and I'm just going to do this and skip a turn. There we go. And then we're ulting with Ascanor, and yep, that's pretty easy. Now my Ascanor ultimate is 6-6, six, six, but even if you have 1-6 or 2-6 Ascanor, it doesn't really matter. Because in normal, you can actually score up to like 1,200 or 1,300, uh, like very easily with this strategy. And uh, yeah, so uh, yeah, that, that, that's it pretty much. We're, we're going to be following um, the same strategy like across all of them, uh, like in normal, uh, hard and extreme. Because you do want to be uh, getting the maximum amount of points that you can actually get. Uh, the closer you are to 4,000, uh, the better. Because uh, the closer to 4,000, you can actually adjust it um, uh, more or less in order to get the all the rewards. Because like they're very, very essential as well. So uh, yeah, it's like especially if you're free to play, you don't want to be missing out on any of these uh, rewards. 
I, I feel like um, they can help you out in the long run, especially each week. So yeah, we're going to be following the same strategy, sort of. We're going to be uh, rushing um, Ascaron's ultimate somehow, uh, and and hopefully he doesn't debuff us as much. I think the only the only one that that could be a problem for us is going to be extreme because extreme is kind of tricky because he keeps on like he's going to be um, up, applying like his corrosions and so on, so that can be a problem in the long run. So we're going to be doing the same and see how much uh, score that we're going to be getting. Uh, we can actually do this so we can actually uh, the f farm as much points as we can. And uh, yeah, because if you see here to the left, it can tells you, it keeps on telling you like how many points you get for each, for each thing that you actually do. So yeah, here we go. That was easy. We just like finish it as as fast as we can. And of course, like the more HP you got, the more score that you get. There we have it. Now we we already without finishing, um, without finishing like the extreme, we are already like sitting on almost three thousand, I believe, or already we have three thousand score so far. So uh, yeah, there is that. So yeah, we're we're already sitting at three thousand one hundred twenty-seven, and uh, we want to be getting the uh, four thousand. Like we we need that four thousand in order to like to uh, to get all the rewards. Otherwise, we did nothing, boys. Uh, so yeah, it's like while we're waiting for the loading screen, like if you guys haven't subscribed yet, I would really really appreciate it. Uh, we want to be proving that a content creator in 2021 can make it anyhow on YouTube. So uh, definitely be subscribed uh, here first, especially if you need like tutorials, if you need anything uh, regarding uh, Seven Deadly Sins. Uh, I try to like to upload daily as much as, uh, as, much as I can. And uh, yeah, if you guys like have any questions or anything, please let me know in the comment down below. And also don't forget to, um, to check out my Twitch. Come and say hello. I would really, really appreciate it. So yeah, the strategy here is pretty much the same. But the only problem is that this boss actually has two, uh, like two, uh, like health bars. So uh, yeah, that's an issue. But uh, the same strategy is we have to like to rush ultimate with Escanor, and then for the second phase, we're going to be wasting all the cards and hope we get as much Escanor cards as we can, in order for us to. Uh, to rush his ultimate again, essentially. Uh, we need to max out like the the points. So what I'm gonna do is do this, remove his buff and then ult with Escanor. Remember that this boss is like, relies so much on your remaining HP. And, uh, and uh, yeah, so the more HP at the end of the battle, like you have, the more points that you're going to be getting. We already like, finish some sort of missions so that's gonna give us like an extra extra points oh we didn't get any Ascanor cards oh we did we did we did it's good because uh, now we can actually rush his ultimate uh, we can waste these cards and actually use uh, Liz uh, Liz's ultimate right here uh, if you guys don't know Liz's ultimate uh, Liz's ultimate is is basically a great ultimate where it heals you and also it gives you two like the whole units uh, two ultimate captures so it's very very useful uh, let's see if if she can actually remove the buffs here mm. let's do this I want to max out like the as much points as I can before I actually kill him so what I'm gonna do is just heal up so I can have like full HP maxed out just in case I happen to like to kill him. Yeah, I removed all the buffs. I'm gonna remove the buffs again, and I'm just gonna ult and hope Ascanor kills here. No, he didn't, so I'm probably gonna have to do one extra turn and hope I get a heal. Oh, I already got the ultimate with Liz. This is really, really good, which means that I can actually uh, heal up so I can get the maximum amount of points. Unfortunately, I didn't draw any... Um, any cards for uh, for Merlin in order to remove his ultimate gouges, but uh, but it doesn't matter because we're going to be defeating him anyway. He's gonna ult, 
His ultimate is gonna he like he's gonna hurt somehow. Oh, I didn't, I didn't I use Liz's ultimate, or did I? Yeah, I think I did. Oh, his ultimate hurts, but it's okay. Unfortunately, we didn't draw. Like this is the the worst case scenario here, but because we didn't draw any of. Um, Merlin's cards to remove his ultimate gouges, which means we lost a lot of HP, but it doesn't really matter because I think he's pretty much dead here. Yeah, he's dead. How much are we going to be scoring? We got the, the, the worst RNG, but it doesn't matter because we beat him. We got like 2,438, which is more than enough to get those uh, those scores. So yeah, that's, at, that's it for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this uh, short tutorial. I didn't want it to be very long in order for you to like to, to guys like to uh, to follow it as much as you can. It'll give you some insight, especially if you're struggling. Uh, these... These units are really, really free to play. Julian is a is an SR unit that is um, easily can be leveled. Escanor, uh, a lot of people already got Escanor, and uh, Green Liz. She's almost on every banner, so uh, if you're lucky, you probably have her, and she's very useful for Grey Demon as well. Green Mer Merlin. Uh, She's on the in the coin shop, so if you have like any every uh, like if you've been eat like been rushing ultimate, uh, you probably have her in the back in PvP anyway. So yeah, that's it for me. Thank you, thank you so much, guys, for watching, and catch you in the next tutorial. Uh, bye. Det jag lägger all min tid och jag vill ha det, ha det, ha det.